So today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about how racism shows up. y'all welcome to another food for thought video so today i thought i would get a little bit away from like theory and commenting and ideology and all of that out there stuff and talk a little bit about the way that racism shows up like in my life first really big exciting news is that i am almost done with the casting of Black Conference. We are down to the last several roles for the show, and so I'm gonna be doing some more casting a little bit later on the week. So super, super good news about that. So I go into the Whole Foods, and I'm just gonna get myself a cup of coffee. So I walk up to the counter, and I, and I order a soy latte. Moments later, a slightly older gentleman walks up who happens to be Caucasian and he also orders a soy latte. And by older gentlemen, we were probably <laughs> within five or six years of each other. Also, let me clarify that the person who took my order and the person making the lattes were both African American. They were probably in their mid to late twenties. They make a soy latte. The person who took my order picks up the soy latte, takes a look at the cup, and immediately starts to put that cup into the hands of the person who had come behind me, who happened to be the Caucasian gentleman. Then he walks over to me and says, it seems as though she, referring to the person who was making the soy latte, made his first. By the way, we were the only two people at the coffee counter. For whatever reason, it had to be written in stone that that was their soy latte as opposed to my soy latte. Then the person goes on to say, but now we're making yours so everything is okay. And of course, I said to him, yes, unless you take into consideration the last 500 years of racial subjugation. Two people walk up to a counter. The only real difference between the two people is that one of them happens to be a Caucasian male. The other one happens to be an African-American male. They both order the same kind of coffee, a soy latte. A soy latte is made. It's placed into the hands of the person who happens to be Caucasian. Apologies are then made to the person who happens to be African-American. What happened there? there there was nothing stopping the young man at the counter from handing me the first soy latte that was made. Looking at that situation and simply analyzing what happened, a mistake was made. At some point, a snap judgment was made by the person who was ultimately serving the coffee that it was easier to create discomfort for me than it was to create some discomfort for the other person. Was it that he thought that person being Caucasian would have made them more difficult. There's some racial bias. Would I be easier to deal with because I happen to be, you know, a brother? That's racial bias. You might read the situation differently and I'd love to hear from you what you think about it. That's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourselves. Peace. And I love myself the way